Hi everyone! So I'm going to show you how, how to make fried Oreos. So you need Oreos, you need one cup of uh, pancake mix, an egg, and a cup of milk, and two tablespoons of oil. I'm going to mix that together, um, and that will pretty much make your frying batter that you're going to be putting the Oreos inside of to fry. So um, I'm actually going to show you guys this recipe I just got, you know, randomly somewhere off um, a normal cooking website. I don't remember <laughs> what it's called, but yeah, you just Google it. And I pretty much found that it wasn't good. But I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how it came out. Um, and then I'm going to show you what uh, what a successful fried Oreo looks like. So um, I'm just showing you here the pan I used to put the to fry the Oreos in. And you pretty much want it to be tall and skinny. So you want the container you use to be wide enough so the material doesn't stick to the sides, but as small as possible because you want to minimize how much oil you have to fill it up with. And you want it to be tall because you don't want the oil to overflow. It'll be even better if you have your own deep fryer. Just use that. So now we're mixing up. That's the milk, oil, and egg. And then we're going to slowly add in the pancake mix. So you want to mix it nice and evenly and slowly because you don't want it to be clumpy. So add a little pancake mix, stir, 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 and keep adding. So I believe everything is in real time for you guys because I remember last time I made a video and a lot of people commented about how it was too fast. So I did this video in real time except I mean excuse me not real time I normal speed but there was a part later that I sped up just because it was just mixing and Alright, so you see how this mixture is very watery, it's not very sticky, it didn't look like very good frying material, but since it was the recipe, we decided to just give it one shot to fry one Oreo with this mix and see what would happen. And I will show you guys that that is not what you want to do. You want to make sure it's very thick. And so basically this recipe was for just like a recipe from scratch, I guess, but then we later just added one more cup of flour, of excuse me, one more cup of pancake mix, and then we just filled it about, I'd say halfway. Onto the stove. Alright, so normally we wouldn't have this, but my sister is in culinary school now, so she is equipped with this, so that was pretty awesome, so we used it. Otherwise, normally we just, you know, wait a few minutes for the oil to get hot. Of course, you don't want to wait too long, because if it gets too hot, it's going to totally burn everything up, um, or, excuse me, it's going to, you know, it's going to be all like charcoaly on the outside and that will be fun. So here goes our first try. Our first Oreo in this very um, watery mixture. We were very, very skeptical. <laughs> we didn't believe that it would work. And you will see what happens? Yeah. 
Yep. Yucky. Yucky, yucky, yucky. So you want thick batter, not thin watery batter. So there we go, and we add one more cup of the pancake mix, and this is where I spit it up. And now we see that it is where we want, the consistency is where we want it at. Very thick and sticky. So here you can see the one on the left is the second Oreo we tried with the thicker batter after we added that one extra cup of pancake mix and it, I thought it was pretty successful. And also the longer you wait for it to sit it also becomes a little thicker so just a note to think about. And all that extra batter that falls in the oil and gets starts to get fried you want to scoop that out like I did because you want the oil to be as clear as possible and I'm sorry that I didn't I lost focus on the Oreo at times like this because I was literally holding the my digital camera in one hand and frying with the other hand so that's why it's like this I'm sorry and yeah I don't know I thought it was a given you wanna just obviously let it fry for a little bit and once it gets good on one side, you want to flip it to the other side. So here's uh, another one of our pretty successful Oreos. And there you go. So this is what it looks like when you cut it open or bite it open. Should be fluffy and soft and delicious. I thought they were pretty similar to the ones th at the carnival and at the beach. So yay! And then we powdered them with some sugar because they come powdered other places and that's it I took some pictures of my nicer camera hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching bye